group of English students for the to class 10 biology class okay last video we have learned the absorb cells further need plant need waters and minerals and i have told the following processes today i will discuss the first process diffusion what is diffusion and importance of diffusion in plant this is very much important Okay, diffusion, you know the definition of diffusion, what is the diffusion process, we are to study in physics subject also. And this is the diffusion, what is diffusion? Diffusion means it is the movement of molecules, okay, substances or the movements of molecules, substances from higher concentration to lower concentration to change. The movements of molecules of a substance, the substances from higher to lower concentration to change. This is actually called diffusion. But diffusion, diffusion, the, the importance of diffusion in plant body, in the plant. The importance of diffusion in plant, the, the importance have to remember, actually the diffusion, diffusion helps the, it helps the distribution of the ions and molecules from the cell to cell, the, from the photoplasm into the protoplasm, okay. And also helps in the transpiration. Transpiration means the loss of water through the stomata. Okay, loss of water through the stomata in the transpiration process through the diffusion. Okay, clear? And the diffusion of water gives the wall of internal plant tissue moist. Diffusion also helps in the primary diffusion of water keeps the internal wall in the moist. Okay. And the aroma of flower is due to diffusion aromatic compound from flower. It also helps to diffuse the aroma of flower and helps to attract the agents of pollinators. Okay, of the pollinators. <coughs> this is actually importance of diffusion. And that much you have to know. And second process, this is the most important process, osmosis. What is osmosis? Osmosis means what is osmosis? Osmosis is the diffusion of water molecules. Okay, diffusion of water molecules, mind it, diffusion of water molecules through semi permeable membrane from the high concentration region to lower concentration region. This process is called osmosis. In the osmosis process, always needed semi permeable membrane and the diffusion of water molecules, mainly the solvent. <coughs> and have to know obviously the what is the semi permeable membrane. Okay, semi permeable membrane, what is the semi permeable membrane? Semi the, a semi permeable membrane is a membrane that allows the movement of solvent molecules. The semi permeable membrane is one type of membrane that allows the movement of solvent. Solvent means, example, you know, water. The water. But it prevents the solute. Solute means you know, water, a salt, sugar. This is the salt, sugar, so solute. And this membrane is called semi permeable membrane. Example, egg membrane, parchment membrane, serving paper, all are same. In the osmosis process, always needed semi permeable membrane. But in diffusion process, no needed semi permeable membrane. Okay, I hope this is clear. And the two terms have to remember properly. Endosmosis and exosmosis. Endosmosis, endo osmosis and exo exo osmosis. Endo endo means inward and exo means outward. Endo osmosis means the inward to the inward diffusion okay this is the into osmosis into osmosis suppose you take one living cell you take one living cell and keep into a hypertonic solution this keep into a hypotonic solution okay clear take one living cell and keep in hypotonic solution hypotonic mind it hypotonic solution hypotonic solution means what is the hypotonic solution Hypotonic solution means there is the more water is present, means more solvent is present. Then the movements occurs in what? On the inside the cell and cells become soils up. This process is called endosmosis. I hope it's clear. Endosmosis and exosmosis. 
exothermal mean take in one living cell and keep in hypertrophy. Hypertrophy means less solvent present. Then the waters is moved from the cells and from the cell the, into the cell or the out. Well, this process is called exosmosis and the cell becomes shrinkage. In the endosmosis, the living cell becomes swells up and in exosmosis, the living cell becomes shrinkage, leads to shrinkage. This process is called exosmosis. Exosmosis means outward diffusion, endosmosis means inward. Endo means obviously the in and exo means out. Okay. And the exam, and this is the endosmosis leads to the swelling up of the cell, and exosmosis the shrinkage of the cell. And through the endosmosis process, the plant absorbs or the root absorbs the water from the soil in the endosmosis process. They absorb the, <coughs> absorb the water from the soil. Okay, I hope it's clear very much. And Prepare at home properly. Prepare learn learn at home properly. Okay. Then what is the endosmosis process and what is the exosmosis process and what is total the osmosis process. Next video I will discuss uh, the osmotic pressure, osmotic potential, and importance of osmosis. Osmosis process in the plant is very much important. Very much important. Okay. I hope clear. If any doubt, you can ask. In better you ask to take one. And what I am giving homework, please do in your 